Ladies and gentlemen welcome to this video my name is Subzero Extabyte and I will be your host for this video, no I am kidding prankster I got a huge video for you today, a lot of things are going to happen the battle of thousand villagers against thousand zombies yes that is right I have no idea how this is going to work out but we are going to record everything to look back on. So that said people let's get this show rolling shall we? Today there aren't any friends joining me. But that isn't a problem we will have enough fun don't you worry. So looking forward toward the battle how do you pranksters think this battle will unfold who is going to win? I know the zombies are pretty strong, but you need to remember the villagers have iron golems that are super strong. You can see them as superheroes the super golems ha 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 yes that is a nice name for them the super golems are here to save the day. But on the other hand the zombies have their range skeleton so that is their advantage. Alright as you can see we have arrived in the battle arena where everything is going to go down. As you can see it is huge enough room for a thousand people yes. The switch in the middle will start the battle, as you can see there is a fence separating the left side from the right side. When I pull the lever the fences go down and the battle begins. So yes we have to stand by for spawning in the battle of course. I am kid of hyped at the moment because I have no idea how this is going to work out. I hope the villagers bring some weapons to fight the zombies. But is that allowed are weapons allowed I have no idea darn it I should have asked the maker of the map. Well I can tell you people the maker of this map because he wants to stay undercover. He isn't a guy that likes too much fame he likes to stay undercover. Alright people let's spawn in the villagers and see if they have weapons on them. Well as you can see they don't have any weapons so it is going to be a fair fight. I think it is time to spawn in their opponents people yes the zombies are going to spawn now. Really nice. As you can see the zombies do have some weapons and they even have baby zombies for speed. Darn it I don't think the villagers have a change. Let's find out. Start a battle. Wow the zombies are going really aggressive from the start. Look at them pushing. Are the villagers afraid? I don't know. Look at them getting pushed. This isn't fair. The far line is holding them back but this side is just running off and spreading out. Maybe that is a tactic but as I can see here there is nothing going well for the villagers. Should I stand in as a helper or is that unfair for the zombies? I have no idea. Darn it people I need to do something. Should I spread some lava? out where zombies and villagers get damaged from I don't know. No let me get a sword I am going to help the villagers this is just not fair. Let's kill some darn mobs now. Look they are moving smart in little groups where they are stronger see the zombies are smart as well darn it these zombies. Should I call in some golems to help I don't know who will win then. You know I need some golems in my city to defend it from mobs because the attack on my city was sort of the same situation as this the attack was in the middle of my city. Like at the city center where people came together it is something that happens every day people from all over the city come together at the city center to just talk and do fun things together and meet new people well. So the attack with the mobs did happen at this place it was a chaos. Everyone was in shock there were only a few people that could fight them back. Chip also was there he was the one that was leading the small group that could fight. But it was not a fair fight it was a small group of 10 people against 100 mobs that keep expanding so there was only one thing that we could do and that is activate the mines. Before Chip and I started building this city from ash we toughed of a defense system that we could use when things like would happen like this. We could not really find one but we had like something that you call a defend system to defend the system one last time and that are the mines that we placed underneath the city that we could activate when a huge attack would happen that means that we will lose the city but that isn't the point of activating them because by doing that the mobs can't take over the city. So that is what we did we activated the mines and below the city we first had turned on the alarm to let everyone know that they had to leave the city. So after a bit of time we activated the mines and everything blow up but don't worry we we are already busy with making a new city and this one with proper defense system because with the system we are going to be able to spawn a protect dome around the city that will keep out every mob that tries to come in. Of course the mobs that are already in the dome have to be hand killed but that will be easy because we are going to put lasers everywhere so we can see where the mobs are in the city. These lasers will only activate when it sees a mob. Not by Minecraft players. Yes ladies and gentlemen this city is going to buy next level it is going to modern and is going to have a lot of futures. So how are you guys liking the armor till now because this is what we are going to use to go behind enemy lines. So this is kind of the plan we are going to follow when the attack is going to happen. 
We are still working on the plan so things could change. But so when everything is ready, we will first send scout teams out into the wild. This will happen 24-7 every hour a new scout group will head out and then one team will come back with new information. This will happen all over the world of Minecraft so we are expecting a lot of people to join us in this first part of the whole operation. After we found out where the biggest strongholds are we will then start training the soldiers that will be going in undercover. We will train them to ultimate soldiers that won't fare anything at all so when that is done we will start gearing everyone up and place them in special designed armored trucks that will head to the strongholds. After everyone is in position I will give the order to every squad that is in the field at the same time to have a coordinated attack. Some will attack immediately and some will try to get in the strongholds without letting anybody know because there is this thing we call it a mob spawner but nobody ever saw this spawner so we have no idea how strong it is are we going to be able to destroy one what will it take us explosion or are we going to need to chop it down or but lava over it nobody really had a change to do testings with it so we will need to improvise as when the squads are on the spot so that said what is the next thing we are going to test oh yes it are the fire bombs this has a nice history behind it we had these bombs for a long time but nobody ever tried to really work on it but finally the team did it and as you can see it works very well. These bombs were made from a long time ago when the Arabs came with gunpowder. Gunpowder was something really special and nobody really knew what to do with it but after doing some magic this beautiful bomb came up. This will be something we are going to use a lot especially to those groups of skeletons that always try to shoot at on target. The hard thing about skeletons are that they come in groups and then aim for one target until you have killed them one by one. But then you already have catched some arrows. But from now on that won't happen anymore you just throw one of these and everything is done. Say we are really improving in our arsenal against those darn mobs sometimes I just want to go myself there and kill every one of them one by one kill 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 but that isn't so easy. Did you guys know the mobs have a king yes a mob king that is in charge of everyone they call him mob king he looks like a zombie but then a huge one like normal zombies are two meters but this one is huge like 10 meters maybe bigger we don't know but I don't think we are ready to kill him at this moment we will first try to kill his army like we are doing right now against this mob army this army is a nice example of the real army we need to fight let's spawn in some more zombies so these golems can kill some mobs yes I need to get them ready for the big fight against the real army and the mob king in the scenario there are only zombies but in the real battle the king will give everything that he has from skeletons to slimes to zombies everything that he has so we need to have them battle ready yes so we we all know the battle that is going on at this moment between Minecraft players and evil mobs. Well alright, so we have found a way to hit the mobs back, before we only could defend ourselves and hope for the best but not anymore ladies and gentlemen we have found a way to attack them as well. And that happens next. So you people remember the video where we did some testings with the mob armors well yes we now know how to get in the biggest mob fortress without them knowing we are in but something terrible happened where we lost 4 brave men. From that moment the mobs knew we had found a way to get in so they started to increase their defenses and came up with a whole new group of mobs that we never have seen. We can really see how mad they are at this moment but that doesn't stop us from trying to find ways to attack them so alright that is said. We now have to focus on the tests we are going to do for this research chip here has made some new experience with the mobs because my best friend chip yes the almighty chip went into a mob stronghold with a lot of success i will tell you the story so chip was chosen to lead the alpha group into the stronghold if you are asking what the alpha group is well they are people all over the world of minecraft with a lot of abilities to basically get everything done what they want so it are really trained professional people that chip was about to lead into a stronghold all right so it was 7 a.m and we got the green light from the general to start making our way to the stronghold i was the pilot by the way and so we started nothing really special happened on the way to the stronghold but when everyone jumped out i immediately heard people fighting like they got trapped so what I did I tried to fly low over them to scare the mobs away I don't know if it helped but alright so I had to leave because my plane was almost out of gas so I left the alpha group there and waited for them to give me signal to come pick them up on a nearby airbase when I was back at base of operations I could watch alpha team with the cameras they had on them chip had studied the stronghold for some time so he knew where to go and what to do of course as group leader you need to do that so they immediately went 
went to the mob spawner and destroyed with explosions. A lot of mobs heard this explosion so they had to fight their way out with success. Nobody got hurt or anything so they called me in and I could safely pick them up from the airfield. It was not really an airfield but more like an airstrip. It was kind of dangerous I have to say because it only was a dirt airstrip with no lights. So the first attempt it I did, was a failure because I could not see where the strip ended so I called in with Chip and told them to throw some flares on the airstrip so I could see where to land. They did that and I could safely land and take off, of course. So that is what happened with Chip and my some days ago it was really exciting but a bit scary, but you know what they say right? The more scary it is the bigger you get. A wise man told me that no I am kidding no wise man here go away wise man nobody asked for you. Or did someone ask for the wise man because if you did I will keep him here so he can say some wise things. Yes you want that alright let's talk a bit about the wise man then. So last week I went to the wise man to get a bit wiser you know what I mean wise yes. Is really nice to get wiser so I went to the guy and told him make me more wiser he laughed at me in a way I was getting ashamed so he said on what subject you want to get wiser I had no idea so I said I want to get wise on a special way so alright the man started to talk about everything there is in the world of Minecraft it was a bit boring so I will only tell you the part that was interesting he told me that I had to keep myself fit because the wise man said a strong fit guy is always ready for anything in the world if you only sit and do nothing you will never be ready for anything so guys stand up and get ready for anything that the world will bring you. Wise words from me right, I like it as well. Alright guy enough wise man things. Oh wait before we stop with the wise man subject I will tell you where to find him. You know the NPC village is right well there is always. Well not always but often there is a guy with funny clothes on well that is the guy you need to talk to sometimes he asks something in return just give him something to eat he will be a happy wise man and tell you everything you want to know. So alright as you can see at this moment we are in a secure place to test of the rest of the mobs that are new. I have no idea what to think of them they are so ugly and just ready to kill and destroy. I can see that in their eyes that they are evil not a lot of people can do that but I can I have those abilities guys. The future prankster. You will have to continue when I don't prank anymore. The prankster legacy will never end well give it on to our kids and those kinds. Hopefully we will prank everyone that could get pranked am I right guys? Alright so pranks will come later first this mobs are really strange and not all of them want to attack you. Well at least they don't attack me I have no idea why but I think something went wrong with them spawning the new mobs. Maybe they had not enough testing time to get them to their top condition. A lot could have happened that is for sure some mobs even look like minecraft people i know that sound really strange because we tried that tactic on them to look like them but they are doing the exact same thing to us we will need to have something or find a way to counter this as soon as possible maybe we should ask asa and they always come up with a smart idea most of the smartest people work in asa and so that is good you don't know what asa and is well let me give you a small look back asa and the company that did things with space yes so I was talking with them one day and we were talking about leaving this planet. Yes ladies and gentlemen leaving the planet of Minecraft and start somewhere else on another planet where there were no mobs. They already discovered some planets where there were no mobs at all. The only thing that there was, was a big dragon but if we would send the first men up there and we train them to find a dragon then we could kill it and then send the rest of the Minecraft. Players I know that is a hard job to do but thrust me it is worth it because then you can have a life without mobs. So the first thing we would do is kill then dragons then start making a lot of rockets that could help us get a lot of people on this world. Then we start a small colony that can start preparing for everyone else that is going to come after that is done we need to discover how to make spaceships. Those spaceships will we station in a big mothership and with the big mothership we will head towards the new planet. So that is the plan all of this doesn't work. But I don't think we need that plan prankster the golems are really battle ready and can do whatever they want. So that said how are you guys thinking we should attack them, we will have to talk to the general about that but for now don't worry. The golems are ready to do whatever they need to do to let the villagers and us live onwards. And as Luke Skywalker said don't fight an enemy you can win from but we are going to fight this enemy and we are going to win. I am so battle ready for this people like I was never ever so ready before let me throw in some rap lines in yo yo my name is sub and I am here to end the mobs once and for all I are you guys with me. Is the prankster army behind me? I hope you are because I will need you. Let's kill some golems now because we don't need them all ha 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 yes 
I know but how are we going to move so much golems, they don't even fit into a plane or something. So I will kill some for now. I can always spawn them back in I think I hope ha ha ha. Maybe I can move them with a train. But then I will need to make railroads and everything no that takes too much time. I will figure something out prankster don't you worry but for now people. I thank you and I will see you back in the next video.